Hi, I'm Gail from GG Evergreen Bonsai. What a lovely, lovely day. Now, what date is it? It's 22nd. No, it isn't. It's the 23rd of February. And it's eight degrees out here in the northeast of England. Um, absolutely fantastic, that sunshine. I've been out with the dogs. Um, went round the lake. They've had a really good run. So I thought I'll have a look at some of my trees that are budding. We've got lots of evergreens, but I have a lot of deciduous trees as well that are just starting um, to um, get their buds. So it's lovely to see. So the video I'm going to do today, we're going to look at this privet. Now this privet is very old. It's about 80 years old. It was dug out, um, well, what it was is they were demolishing some housing estate which had been around for about 75 years. They dug out a few privet and it had been around for a few years before that and we've had it a few years so I suppose it's at least 80 years old so it's an absolutely fabulous tree. Not a shrub but it does look a bit like a tree as well. Um, and we've got a lot of shari there and some gin. Now you've got to treat privet slightly differently because of the um, the way that deciduous trees, they don't sort of hold the dead wood so well. So I'm going to put some wood hardener on it and then I'm going to repot it later on today. So I just thought what an absolutely beautiful tree to show you today. And um, let's see how we get on. I'm going to have a look at some of the trees around my garden and see um, what they look like. Fantastic at the minute, I think. So very exciting at this time of year. Uh, I wouldn't think in February you'd be sit. I wouldn't think in February you'd be sitting with a, just a, a dress on um, outside, but it's absolutely brilliant. Lovely sunshine. We've got little juniper there, and we've got a maple. Just say, just got some lovely little buds on there. One of my elms, put it out for the sun. It's been inside. Now all of my elms have been really, really good, except for this one. So it's just starting to have a few little shoots. So I thought I'll put it outside in the sunshine. And see how it gets on. If you hear the grunting. If you hear any grunting, it's this fella here, Max. Hello, Max. Hello. So I've got some maples here. And I've got tried a maple there, so Again, just starting with the little buds. It's exciting, I've not had a trident before. So it'll be interesting to see how that gets on. And then this one, hopefully the ramification will be better this year. I've been pruning it. So we'll see how, we... how that one uh, looks later on. And this one is an Amelanchia, which has beautiful white and pink flowers, which they'll be starting soon. You can see the fluffy little flowers just starting there. And then they have the leaves afterwards. So absolutely beautiful tree. And I'm debating whether or not to do a little bit of carving on the trunk. It's a beautiful trunk. I might practice a little bit. I'm not sure. I'm in two minds about that. I don't want to mess it up when it's such a beautiful tree. All you can hear is Max grunting behind me. <laughs> and then this is my beach forests that I planted last year, so I've cut them back 
And um, look at the state of the moss. The birds around here have a field day looking for worms. There's another juniper I just acquired. Um, and I'll be looking at some of the shari. I've just put some lime sulphur on that to lighten that up a little bit more. Um, so I'll clean up the bark a little bit. And then I've got the pads. So really, really good opportunity for me to practice um, with pads. So this is Ron Seal High Performance Wet Rot Wood Hardener. And as usual, Ron Seal does exactly what it says on the tin. So it sets rock hard, dries within two hours for indoor, outdoor use. So I'm going to apply this, I'll put some gloves on and then we'll see how we get on. So with this privet, it just needs clip and grow method now, just to encourage the ramification. the wood hardener. I can put some gloves on. I presume you can use this top for uh, to put the stuff in. Correct? You push. Unbelievable it says. It does exactly what it says on the tin. However, I can't actually get into the tin. I'm not exactly a weak person. Well, I'm going to have to cut this and get this off. So I'll come back after I've managed to get this off. And that's the thing with bonsai. It's you know, it's it's a, it's a love affair really with a with a tree and that relationship you know so i'm just starting my relationship with this with this privet and um you give it love and they'll give it love back absolutely fabulous try not to touch any of the buds don't want to hurt those with this chemical So whilst I wait for the wood hardener to dry, in my last video, the Star Wars video, I said that subscribers could comment and name these two PCs. So the two winners were Tony from Tony's Bonsai and Joe Garland. So Tony's already named these. He said Chewbacca and Yoda. So I'm going to pick the large one for Tony. So this one is going to be called Chewbacca. And then Joe Garland, you will need to put in my comments what you would like to call this little piece here. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps me on my bonsai journey. So part two will be the repotting of this beautiful privet. So hopefully the weather will be okay tomorrow for me to repot. So that'll be part two. Thank you for watching.